Hey guys, how you doing? Mr. iPod Touch 101 here. Today I want to bring you the official, uh, not quite official, but the first jailbreak known to the 3.1.3 firmware. Um, I'm using Red Snow, works both for Mac and Windows. Black Rain, the guy who made it, will not be making a jailbreak for 3.1.3. Um, but uh, Red Snow just came out with the first ever jailbreak. It's not the best one, probably. It won't be. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, so first what you want to do is uh, obviously in down, uh, download Red Snow in the sidebar down there. And also make sure you have some, uh, if you jailbreak a 3.1.2, you're already good. Have so, uh, download firmware 3.1.2 for your device on the sidebar. Alright, so f now what we're going to do is we're going to go open up Red Snow. Alright, and... So, uh, looks like the half-eaten pineapple thing. Alright, it says, uh, copyright, please read all accompanying text documents. Please select your corresponding IPS uh, for your current firmware. Click browse and find 3.1.2. Why are we using 3.1.2? I don't really know, but it once you jailbroke it, it will be, it, it will be set on 3.1.3. It's, it t it's got to build like the uh, firmware. Okay, so you press open, it says processing firmware. And then eventually this pop up will come up and says, Is this a new or fixed model? If this is an MC model of an iPod Touch 2G, if you're not sure, go to the. You can find your model type in your. Is it an MC model? I don't think so. Alright, so you press no. Um, just to make sure, we're going to take a look. General about this is not an MC model. This is an MB model, MB2G iPod Touch. This works for all iPod Touches and iPhone devices. Unfortunately, the only uh, iPhone it can unlock is the original. All right. So now, once that's done, it says IPSW successfully identified. Press next, and it'll start to go to the. It's going to prepare the jailbreaking data. Alright, and here it says install city, that's the one that's checked, I'll zoom, uh, bring it in for you guys. Um, you can use boot logos and recovery logo, but you obviously don't want to check that because it's already jailbroken. Um, but if you have an iPhone, it'll say, like, in between these two, unlock. Check it if you have an original iPhone. It does not work for 3G or 3GS. Alright, so since install city is already checked for you, just press next. And you want to make sure that your iPod is plugged in and your device is off. So I'm going to plug mine in. If I can. Alright, there. And you want to hold down the power button to turn it off. Alright, and uh, this next page, you want to be alert because it's going to be telling you to hold down the power button for three seconds. And then it'll tell you to keep on holding down the power button and uh, put your other hand uh, alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press next hold down the power button for three two one without releasing the power button also hold down the home button for six five it starts at ten but it just gives you a countdown two one without releasing the home button release the power button but keep holding on to the home button for thirty seconds yeah, I think you want to make sure it is on there for thirty seconds Make sure the screen goes white. Yeah, keep on holding it down even though the screen will change. Alright, so once this appears, you should be fine. Um, you want to make sure the, the other screen that says hold down your home button for like 30 seconds, it will eventually go away and it will say, uh, you know, it won't tell you to keep on holding it. Keep on holding the home button. I made this mistake um, earlier. So keep on holding down the home button until there's one white screen. It goes off two, and just just until this logo comes up. All right, and now it says done on here. So you just gotta wait for your your device to reboot on here. Um. So yeah, you want to hold down the power button for three seconds. Three, two, one. Without releasing the power button, hold down the home button for ten seconds and once that time expires release the 
power button and keep on holding down the home button for 30 seconds. And then, like I said, the, the screen that uh, t tells you all this will go away and it'll say waiting for reboot and what that, whatnot on uh, building IPSW. Keep on holding down the home button until this screen comes up. Very important. Or else you'll just be stuck on the waiting for reboot thing on here forever. Alright, and now we're on to the pineapple, running pineapple. That uh, screen was just, you know, doing a little circle thing. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, the guy who made Black Rain will not be releasing the 3.1.3 jailbreak. Why? Because I'm pretty sure the guy thinks that it's just, since the f upgrade was by 0 .0, uh, 0 .0 0.0.1 from 3.1.2 to 3.1.3, I'm sure he's thinking this is a minor upgrade and you probably don't need to upgrade to it. It's the only thing I'm pretty. Uh, my friend told me this firmware does is that it uh, just fixed a battery bug. So if you don't want to upgrade to it, don't have to. Um, as you see, it's almost done. But Pwnage Tool will be coming out with the jailbreak hopefully this by this weekend. Uh, today is Wednesday. Alright, so now your Apple logo has come up. And once that is done, there is your screen. Okay, so now you can just simply slide to unlock, and there's Cydia. Mr. iPod Touch 101 here, please subscribe. Um, by clicking the red, I mean, yellow button. Also, the friend I told you about, his name's FSU Frosty. He's got a YouTube and a Twitter. Subscribe to him and follow him. Thank you guys for watching, and, um, so please subscribe. I just want to prove to you guys, oops, I want to prove to you guys that I am on 3.1.3 after the jailbreak. See, here is Cydia. Let's go into settings. General, about... Version 3.1.3, jailbroken. Thank you guys again for watching.